What's going on, collectives? It's your girl, Janiqua A, and I'm back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all of your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. Now, what I heard was your relationships or relationship will never be the same after today, all right? We are experiencing a powerful energy of eclipse, the eclipse, the solar eclipse, and that's activating your nodes, which is your south node, which you have to leave in the past, or your north node, which is actually pulling you towards your relationship that is actually aligned with you, all right? After today, your relationships will not be the same, and you are coming out with the page of swords. There's either a masculine or a feminine energy that has been trying to hack your computer, hack your phone. All right, hack a lot of stuff pertaining to technology when it comes to your relationships. All right, somebody is literally spying on you online. This could be um, a air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. All right, but this person is definitely hacking into your personal things when it comes to relationships. I feel like they are trying to gain insight on what is happening and why you are actually going to make a final decision today regarding, you know, this connection that you have. So let's see why this hacker is here. A journey. Somebody is completing a karmic cycle and is ending a relationship, all right? You guys are about to take a journey of your life and you guys are leaving a karmic relationship behind. This is definitely a karmic completion with the number 10. You could have been dealing with this for 10 years, but it is done. It is done. For a lot of you guys, you are moving. For a lot of you guys, you just moved away mentally. For a lot of you guys, you're not even saying nothing. You're just going. And you are leaving that dark karmic relationship behind. And you're taking a journey. And somebody is trying to investigate and hack into your privacy and what you are doing when it comes to your whereabouts. All right? Is what I'm seeing. Somebody is definitely thinking about another divine feminine. They have a certain image and they head about you that they cannot let go. All right? Is what I'm seeing. Toll and labor. Mm. All right, so here what I got, y'all. There is a huge change that is happening in a relationship. And I feel like this change is sudden. I'm getting a tower energy. I feel like with this change that somebody has decided upon, it is going to affect every relationship moving forward. And whatever relationship that you are currently in now, it would never be the same because there is a drastic change and sudden events taking place when it comes to somebody on a journey is what I'm seeing. All right. This has something to do with the mature woman. Okay. And they have been expecting something for a while. You hear me? A while. And with this 28, that reduces down to 10. So this is 1010. 10. So whatever this mature woman was waiting for, it has never came. You guys, whoever's in this mature energy, I feel like ever since young, you have been expecting a change, probably with a masculine. All right. But now that we are experiencing this eclipse energy, I feel like the wait is over. I feel like there is somebody that has chose to leave a karmic relationship behind and it happened suddenly. All right. 
I feel like this mature woman has been expecting something from her earlier years, all right? But has come to the realization or somebody has came to the realization that they have been dealing with a karmic feminine. This person was a false twin flame, a false soulmate. And it was a lot of hidden shit with this person. I feel like because there's a masculine on this top row that has been thinking about a journey with another feminine, it caused this mature woman to expect the unexpected and that is for somebody to leave. They never thought that this person will up and leave as fast as they did or just cut off their connection. I feel like because this woman looks more mature, I feel like they might be in some sort of bad health because of all of this change that's happening suddenly. And physically, this mature woman is not doing too good. I feel like this could be causing a lot of stress. Yeah. This could be causing a lot of stress on somebody's work life, on somebody's manifestations, but most importantly, on somebody's family. And after today, I feel like somebody's cover is blown. I feel like there may have been a masculine that was blinded to a lot of shit is what I'm seeing. But with this eclipse energy and this Aries, you know, energy, this new moon energy, somebody is feeling very passionate about a divine feminine that they've been having on a mind. This is a abrupt change. Okay? This is a sudden change. I'm getting a tower card. Like, this change happened so fast that no one was prepared for it. And usually that's what the eclipse energy, energy do. Like you, you make your mind up and you stick with it. All right. And I feel like it's causing somebody to be physically in bad health and bad shape. All right. So let's see why this is here. Spirit, tell me more about this mature woman. Wow. Wow. This mature woman, whoever she is to you guys, she been selling you guys a dream. For a lot of you guys, this mature woman has been doing things for clout for so long and expecting something to come out of this illusion. And it didn't. The only thing that came out of it was somebody leaving and taking a journey elsewhere. This mature woman, ever since they were young, they felt like they had to live up to a certain standard when it comes to being a star. They had to live up to a certain standard when it comes to a certain status quo. And with this queen of pentacles in reverse, somebody is realizing that this person was selling not only them a dream, but actually this mature woman was selling herself a dream. With this new moon and eclipse energy, I feel like she's been eclipsed out of a lot of people's lives based off of the truth coming out about her not really being financially stable, about her not really having the wealth that she claimed to have. And I feel like everything is coming out because you can't hide for so long. You can't keep lying. Because the truth is in a pudding. Somebody has got exposed for selling a lot of people a dream or trying to make themselves look like something that they are completely not. And right now, it's hitting them in a stability. It's hitting them 
and their status is hitting them and how people view them and how they view themselves. For a lot of you guys, this person is finding it hard to, to maintain a character that is not. All right? I feel like for a while, this mature woman, whoever it is to you, ever since young, has been expecting a life of luxury, a life of, you know, independence, star-like qualities, and they are facing the hard reality that they did a lot of shit that was fake. And now the real from the fake is being divided. All right. So you got a mature woman here ever since young has been expecting a star like life where everything is handed to them. They don't really have to work too hard. You know what I'm saying? They probably did a lot of things for money that wasn't really beneficial to their health. And with this bad health card, I feel like somebody is just overworked, overloaded, stressed, and really confused as to how their life ended up like this. So definitely, whoever this mature woman is, your relationship will never be the same with her after today. This could be a mother. This could be somebody, an aunt. This could be a wife. This could be a girlfriend. But they are getting exposed of clout chasing. All right. I feel like it was all an illusion. Spirit, tell me about this expectation, please, and thank you. Oh, yeah, damn. Whatever that they have been expecting, they realized that it's never coming. And I feel like it's not so much of it's never coming. It's at a point where they are being seen for who they truly, truly are. And it's not that star. It's not this stable woman that they try to portray. And with this expectation and this eight of um, swords, this is misery. This is isolation. This is grief. This is depression. And this is self-imposed wounds. So this person is in their head a lot. I feel like this person got wrapped up into their own lies and the lies caught up to them about how they was living their life. And it's not feeling good to this um, feminine, whoever this mature woman is. Remind you, this feminine with this expectation, ever since they were young, they was trying to portray a lifestyle of luxury, of fame, of fortune with this star card. And all it got them was an eight of swords to the queen of pentacles in reverse. This is lies getting caught up. This is people seeing this person for who they are. This is people acknowledging after all the years that has went past, nothing has changed. And now that this person is older, they can't do the same things that they once done. They, they're not active like that no more. You know? So it's really taking a toll on somebody's body. To try to keep up with the Joneses. And everything is coming out. Alright. Spirit tell me why is this fourth person here. I feel like they just being seen as fake. And phony. I feel like they try to get. A lot of clout. Off of a masculine. I feel like they may have been living a life. Through a masculine. Spirit tell me why this fourth person is here. Damn. The three of swords to the four of fucking wands. This is a broken home. This is somebody choosing to turn their back on the issues that was going on privately in their house. 
and go outside and act like nothing was never happening. This person will cry at night. This person will feel really bad. And this person, whoever this mature woman is, they was broken. They was broken trying to keep up with a lifestyle that wasn't for them. And they got exposed. This is not a good energy for this mature woman. Because as you age, even though age is nothing but a number, as you grow in cycles and nothing is elevating, but everything is coming down, it's showing you that this person was operating out of their self node. They couldn't release the things that they was too materialistically attached to, to grow. And that stuck with them. And now because they more mature, they can't do the things that they once did. They can't party the way they did before. They don't have the fortune to do this. And it's really causing them bad health physically. This is a completely broken home. But on the outside looking in, you would never think that this person was living like this. You would never think that this person was grieving a loss of a family. You know why? Because they had too much pride. They had too much pride. And when you have too much pride, spirit will knock you down when you least expect it and make you go through an ego death. And that's what's happening. Spirit is hitting them hard and they stability, y'all. For a lot of you guys, this person is grieving a loss of a marriage, a loss of a foundation. And I feel like this is publicly. And that's why they are hurting. So there's a mature woman that has got exposed for trying to keep up with the Joneses. Trying to live a false reality. And now it has caught up to them. And they're not physically well to get their shit together. And now I feel like somebody is forced to go through an ego death. And their relationship, whoever is tied to this woman... Is done. It's done. And I feel like they know it's done. They feel the energy. And everybody sees that this house was always broken. And because this person didn't want to attend to the details, but rather put up a facade to the world, every time they went home, they cried. Every time they went home, they were sad. So you got to ask yourself. Why would anybody want to live a life like that? And there are people, even mature, stuck in their ways of a false reality. Sometimes people believe the lies that they tell themselves. And now spirit is putting it out for everyone to see that the house been broken. The foundation been destruct, dis distorted. And now somebody is not financially stable to keep a foundation that they try to portray to the world. And that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. All right. Spirit, tell me more about this hacker. You know, it's sad to see divine feminines like this. Because... You got to ask yourself, why would you want to lie to keep somebody? You, you can't keep somebody that don't want to be kept. Tell me why, what, is, what about this um, hacker spirit? Mm. The king of swords. Wow. Ace of pentacles. Woo. High priestess. Damn. Y'all, so there may have been a secret relationship, all right? There may have been a secret relationship, all right, with a high priestess and an emperor, okay? A high priestess is somebody that keeps to themselves. You could definitely be a tarot card reader or some sort of spiritualist, all right? 
You could definitely be doing something online that people want to hack into your business. All right. I feel like you got a lot of a following. You got a mass following or whatever you do. For a lot of you guys, if this is not an emperor, you have made a career as a boss when it comes to what you do spiritually. All right. I feel like whatever you do spiritually, you do it online and, and you create it. A very comfortable lifestyle for you, Divine Feminine. So much so that you and your nine of fucking pinnacles energy. If this is not bossing up, it's like you balance out your masculine and your feminine through work. The high priestess is a Divine Feminine energy that is not afraid to tap into the emotions. And to go in depth of, you know... The subconscious. And whatever you do for work, you are your own boss. And you are in your nine of pentacles by yourself, baby. You have made a life for yourself that is very inspiring to others. Okay? You are well off right now. And with this eight of pentacles, ace of pentacles, baby, you, you in a ten of pentacles by yourself. Whatever you do for work, you are your own boss with this emperor card. The masculine is the king of swords. You are in your high priestess emperor energy by your fucking self. And with this nine of pentacles and ten of pentacles, baby, you doing hella shit that the universe is blessing you. So for this new moon and eclipse energy, I need you to know, Divine Feminine, you stepping definitely into your north node. You are completely on track, on track with your career. Look, you bossed up. You are the one who cut the checks. You are the one who has a mass following that people are trying to hack. You are the star. And for a lot of you guys, whoever this mature woman is with this false person, they are trying to look and portray to be you and they can't. Look. There's so much hidden talents and gifts that you possess that people literally constantly sit on a computer and trying to hack their way into your life but they can't figure they can't figure out you know i'm burping y'all <laughs> they can't figure out how you're doing it divine feminine <clears throat> so i want to let you know for you definitely your relationships will never be the same after this because there's not a single person that is off track could come into your energy you won't allow it anybody that is not about their paper. Anybody that's not with a right mindset. Anybody that's not ready to tap into their fears and their emotions. They can't come see you. You don't need them. Literally, Devon Feminine. You do not. And I, I'm sorry to say. like You don't need nobody right now. You in a ten of pentacles by yourself. And with this ace. It's like you stepped into this season with this new moon eclipse energy straight. Into a new cycle of abundance. Of affluence. Of wealth. Alright. You are literally making the bag. Out of your spiritual career. I feel like there is a king of swords. That is learning so much. About how you're doing this alone. Whoever it is. Alright. This could be. This could be. Another boss that's want to work with you. This could be a father. This could be somebody that want to cut you a check. But this person is learning from you. And for a lot of you guys, this could even be Archangel Michael exalting you in this career. And I feel like if you are connected to this mature woman, you are really being seen. In the light you truly supposed to be seeing it. Because the truth is here, Divine Feminine. Look, you don't have to lie. First of all, when you talk about the Nine of Pentacles, Divine Feminine. You worked your ass off to get here. And you did it alone. When you talk about the Nine of Pentacles, you didn't have no help. You had to go through the ups and downs. You had to go through the betrayal. You had to go through the feelings. You have to go through the hidden emotions and the shadow work. 
But when you see the nine of pentacles and the ace of pentacles, that means you did it. That means you didn't let no immature person, no broken heart, no false reality get in your way. And right now, I feel like you are showing the difference between the real and the fake. All right? The truth is in the pudding. You are very well off right now. And it's only going to get better. So you, Divine Feminine, your relationships will never be the same after today. Because whoever come into your circle got to come correct. Now, they, they might not have to have all the money that you have. Because you're well established. But with the lies, oh no, they can't. With the phoniness, oh, they can't. And you know why? Because you're already a high priestess. You're going to call them out. Half of the time, people not even going to fuck with you like that. Because they already know you know. You a boss. You out here in your imprint energy. You are completely balanced in your masculine and your feminine energy. And you're teaching people how to do that. So you're definitely being seen as a true divine feminine rather than somebody that's mature and have lived a life of falseness for a while. Look, this person is really, they can't even stand to look at you in this energy. This person would get jealous. And that's why the hacker card came out because this person has to hack their way in to try to see how the fuck are you coming up like this? But every time they hack and they don't see shit, all they keep seeing is the bag. Because it's not meant for them to see. And that's the problem. Whoever this mature woman is, if it's a mother, a grandmother, whoever it is. They are too busy trying to hack into your life. While they shit is literally tumbling over. They done. And it's sad. Because I'm a divine feminine, you know, and I've been here before. And it wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty. It don't feel good. It don't feel good because it's nice outside. You don't think you want to go out and be able to do whatever you want to do? This person cannot act the old age they in. And you out here <laughs> living. You hear me? Living like a boss. So, Devon Feminine, you're 27, 27 on the clock. Your relationships will never be the same after today. Because of who you are and whose you are. And where you came from. See, when you came from the struggle, nobody can't tell you, oh, nothing. You've been through it. You know, you know shit can happen if you put your mind to it. You are a perfect example of... What getting out the what what it is to be getting out the mud. You got it out the mud, baby, and you in your tent of fucking pinnacles alone, and you done made a career out of it. Literally. And you got this person hacking you, trying to see where you at, and they need to be focusing upon why they not there. This person literally is older than you. I know that. It's definitely an age gap. So then you got a question. These people morals and agendas to life. Because they can't see you right now. Your life will forever be changed. What I'm seeing on this board. Divine Feminine. You are completely bossed up. Spirit. What is this thoughts? Who is this masculine thinking about the Divine Feminine? Look, they are looking. So if this masculine was invested with this king, with this um, mature woman, they are looking over the investments and realizing that they didn't get the return that they wanted or expected. This person spent a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of finances and a lot of everything when it came to a relationship with a mature woman. And it only resulted back to you. Is what I'm seeing. Look, I can't make it up. This person love you. And for a lot of you guys, this is like new love. So it couldn't be more than two years. But within that two years, because you didn't focus just upon this and you made a commitment to make a choice to love yourself first, that is how you got 
here. You got to choose yourself first. And I feel like that's probably where the delay went. Because instead of choosing yourself, instead of choosing their self, they chose a relationship. And they kept expecting, expecting. And before you know, you up their age. Before you know, you up there. Before you know, in summertime, you can't even go out and buy ice cream because you're so broke. Because they have a lack mentality, collectives. When you talk about the nine of pentacles, the nine of pentacles to the ace of pentacles, that's not a lack mentality. That's getting out the mud. That's getting out of turning this ace of pentacles all the way into the nine of pentacles. You in the ten of pentacles by yourself. And you're being exalted by your spirituality. You added spiritual sense to your shit. So you got a divine masculine that is really thinking about what they invested with this person and them not getting a returns on nothing. Financially, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. All right. Yeah, look. They definitely not, not working with this person no more. It has been a complete turnaround when it comes to a collaboration. Look, a king of pentacles is not working with them no more. They were very dissatisfied in a connection. You know what I'm saying? And that's fucked up. Look, hangman. They out of hangman energy. They done cut themselves off because somebody has been enlightened with all that they need to know about this individual or whatever this is. They, they don't need to know no more. They already learned all they need to learn. Why is this hangman here? Spirit. Look, chariot, they moving forward. They have been enlightened and made aware of everything that needed to know about this mature woman. And they forced reality. And they are moving forward. For some of you guys, this person might be driving to you. Or y'all might be taking a trip. All right, is what I'm seeing. But they was very dissatisfied in the relationship. There was no peace there. There was absolutely no peace. When I tell you this person probably could have been spiritual too. Because I see the church. They couldn't even pray. And that's fucked up. So when, when you can't even pray. When you can't even tap into your spiritual gifts. Because you are around somebody that is just chasing a clout or image. And then you meet a true high priestess. That is really in depth. With their emotions, but actually making a career out of it, and that's in a ten of pentacles by themselves. Somebody is going to see the difference because nobody don't have no peace here. Look, this person every time they went home, whoever it is, they was not happy. And for a lot of you guys, they both wasn't happy. the The older woman and the masculine wasn't happy. The masculine felt like. They was very uncomfortable and just no peace whatsoever. And the older feminine couldn't even sleep at night for what she was seeing online. This is like watching somebody online. Too focused on how the high priestess came into her bag. Instead of worrying about getting their emotions together. Because the house and the home was broken. This this just this just this didn't just happen. It didn't just happen. It this is the result of time being passed by and not attending to home. All right. So, spirit, tell me more about this fourth person. No, tell me more about this bad health, wealth. <laughs> Somebody is in bad health. For chasing wealth. This, these people could have been married with this ring. But it was just surrounding wealth. See, y'all got to remember, wealth comes from within. Wealth is not just a bag. Wealth is prosperity. Wealth is love. Wealth is spirituality. Wealth is everything. Other is not just money. And this feminine... 
couldn't see past the marriage. They couldn't see past the wealth that came along with the marriage. And they couldn't see past the materialistic shit that this 3D realm shows you. So, there's bad hope for surrounding wealth. Look, oh my gosh. The high priestess, you see? So, look at you high priestess in your energy. Look at this mature woman. This is swift. So, this swift news coming in that this high priestess is done. She is soaked in misery and sorrow. And she's wondering how the fuck she got here. And you know, I'm going to say it like it is. For a lot of you guys, you guys might have had similar traits with this mature woman. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, this mature woman is envious of you because she, see, she sees you in her when she was young. Look, she sees, she sees you growing and flourishing and she feels like this was her when she was young, but look what she is now. And this is coming fast. Like her life over if she do not get her shit together. And it's not looking too good because this is swift communication coming in that this shit not looking too pretty. Because she's too busy trying to live vicariously through you. Is what I'm seeing. Wow. And for a lot of you guys, she might be needing a public defender. So she's going through so much court battles. She's going through so much legal shit. That it literally got her soaking in her misery. So imagine you seeing somebody that you used to be like. That's coming up in the world. That's actually spiritual. It's fucked up to see somebody doing what you used to do and doing it better. And that's why it's hitting this person. It's jealousy. All right. Look. She need a public defender. And look. All out of pleasure. Still trying to keep a masculine. That man hand is not above that woman. That woman hand is above that man trying to, trying to race for pleasure, for clout. What you racing to? You need to be racing to that public defender because you don't have, I keep burping. This mature woman don't have enough money to even pay for a lawyer, bro. So now she got to be forced to go to a public defender that might not even plead her case right. And it's fucking her up. She can't sleep. The masculine has been out. When I tell you there's probably a fire sign masculine, this masculine probably younger than her. All right. There's definitely an age gap between a mature woman and the Nine of Wands. This masculine has never been committed to her. The Nine of Wands is definitely not committed. And when it's talking about some legal shit and pleasure, he's out of here. And that's the thing. She tried to keep this masculine when she should have released him. And now that she's suffering with these court issues and have to have to turn to a public defender while this masculine is living his best life. It's fucked up because you choose your life. And somebody relationship will never be the same after today. I'm telling y'all. This eclipse energy has eclipsed this woman into reality. Or in the name of pleasure. Look. No creations. It's in reverse. That's fucked up. The painter in reverse. Threw all her dreams away. Maybe facing jail time. For a masculine that never was committal. And now look, the wheel has turned. Everything that happened was supposed to happen because this person was never changing. When the wheel of fortune come out, this is a faded event. This was nothing new. This person was 
trying to live vicariously through you because she sent you and her. She didn't choose to heal and now this shit coming so swift that she don't even have time to catch up. It's fucked up because it's summertime. It's summertime. It's like nice outside. Spirit, um, give me more about this high priestess and this swift, um, this swift. Friendship. Friendship. Regret. <laughs> Whoever is about to communicate this to this person or there's going to be some news, some swift news communicated to this person that is going to really have her sunk in her motherfucking feelings because she has been made aware that all of her friendships that she was in, they feel like it was a regret. She might even feel regretful for the friendships that she made while living in a false reality. This shit was false. It's a whole bunch of regret. That's fucked up. Look, fear. Fear is what got her there. Fear is what got her trying to keep a masculine. A f it's like a fight to see who wins. That's not a relationship. And for some of you guys, it started out as a friendship. And now somebody just regret the whole shit. You know why? Because somebody, she was scared to fail. And when you come out as the high priestess the way you are, you wasn't scared to fail. You actually overcame your fears of failing because you knew that failure was just another way of doing things. Failure was just another direction to take. So all of this came about because this mature woman was scared of failing. All right, she was scared of failing and she created friendships that she now fucking regrets because none of those friends, none of them is with her when it comes to this public defender. None of them is there with her. And that's fucked up. Um, spirit, anything about um this this high priestess bossing up? Intuition. Intuition. She knew how to use her intuition. When you talk about fear, that's all about your intuition. You have to utilize your intuition and realize you got to act on your intuition and stop being scared because there's nothing to fear when your body is telling you to do something. All right? And the intuition that this high priestess received was... Her ability to change the world. Her ability to ch change her perception. Her ability to change the outlook she had when it came to her failures. All right? And there's a rebirth happening when it comes to physical activity. See? This, this high priestess is physically fit. This high priestess is physically active. While this mature woman is in bad health physically. And that's what fear would do to you. So I hope this helps and realize that your relationship with this mature woman, it will never be the same after today. And whoever's in this high priestess energy that has completely bossed up into the ten of pentacles like your own boys, your relationship will never be the same either. Is because you're not allowing anything less of your caliber to step into your life and to... Feel it with fear like this Devon Feminine did. You are basically seeing the aftermath of two feminines living their life in fear and one living their life not in fear. One living their life vicariously through others and one understanding that it's okay to be alone. Y'all seeing a real from the fake right now in this reading. And none of y'all relationships will be the same after today. I love y'all.